Yo, yo, what's up, people? What's going on? Hope you're having a good day, a good night, whatever time it is where you are. I just hope you're having a good one. So what do we have here? But demonical fit, um, demon, demonical fit, demon, demon, demonical fit. I don't know how you pronounce it. However you say it, but uh, this is the limit breaker, which is pretty much a Super Saiyan Blue Goku and uh kaoken combined so if you've seen dragon ball z super you know he hit the blue and then he hit the kaoken and this is what this is <clears throat> you can see man they um they copy the sh fig arts box uh very very closely um i wouldn't call this a knockoff i would call this third party uh some call it a knockoff some don't but i would call this third party because they make a lot of different uh dragon ball z figures and um shf hasn't done this so it's not a knockoff because there is no official kaoken super saiyan blue goku we just have this one and they call it limit breaker like it's not even called goku it's simply called limit breaker that's his name all right so man let's crack them open and see what's going on well here we are i'm vegeta and this is kakarot we're going to review him right now <laughs> His power's grown a little bit, but not that much. All right, what if I did the whole like review as Vegeta? I need to work on my Vegeta voice a little bit. Um, is it me or are the insides of his ears like extra yellow, like wax? Goku, man, I know you like to train and get stronger, bro, but you gotta have some good hygiene. All right, so like I said, man, third party figure. Here's his head, looks pretty good. If you look really closely though, his hair is kind of like metallic. That's a cool little effect. I likes that. Taking a good look at the face. I mean, they really, they nailed it. It's like, it's really close to SHF. I like it. You can see two different uh, flesh tones between his, uh, his face, his neck, and his chest. Two different colors because they're probably two different materials. So that's how, that's how that looks. Here's a head though. So you can get a good idea of the head motion. Got a little bit of wobbly, wobbly, drop, drop it like it's hot. All right. I remember um, there was one demonical fit figure where you like you twist the neck left and right and the neck peg like broke off like crazy. So they have um, improved upon their QC um, greatly, but there are still some issues. So as I go over this guy, I'm going to be careful not to like stress him out too, too much because it may very well like snap right in my hands. And that'd be ugly. I'd cry like I legit like cry right here, right now. You guys are hear me crying. So look at this suit, man. Look at his shirt. He's got rips and tears. He's got battle damage all over his shirt. He was fighting um, Hit, if I'm not mistaken. He was fighting Hit when he went Kaoken, uh, Super Saiyan Blue. I could be wrong. I haven't seen that in a long time. I like how they have like shading all over his arms. Can you see that, see that shading? We got our natural flesh tone. We got some shading in there too to make his muscles kind of pop out even more. Right, so let's check out that bicep uh, range. Goes like that. And his wrists, um, they do bend. But I'm going to be careful and try to find that joint in there first. Where's that joint at? I can't tell where it is. It's in there somewhere. So I know they do bend. Um, I can't tell where it is, but there's some movement in there. Let's see. There it is right there. So I can see where it separates that. So if I can just turn it, I can get a little bit more wrist movement. But his little um, cloth, little... Um, what do you want to call this thing wristband is blocking it so here is the butterfly joint see that right there right and i can already tell i'm gonna have to put some um oil inside of that because that's kind of scaring me the butterfly joint right there so both the arms go up about that much that looks kind of odd because you can see right into there but you're limited by the shirt i mean it's good that they made the shirt like movable but um see that looks weird so you gotta watch out how you pose this guy it's like somebody just ripped his sleeves off like ah, that's what happens when you have like a when you power up too much you gotta have clothing that can like withstand your power-ups there's a bicep cut right there you can actually just see that okay and the arms kind of like do the arms drop down at all no the arms don't drop down but there is a lot of movement right there so you can really hit some good poses let's check out the abdomen left and right you can hear it too front about that much so tiny tiny bit back back is always more you can see right in there 
like back is always a lot so you can even of course you can give him the you know the charging up pose that we all love to do but i would like to bend his arms his wrists in more when i do that pose though because you know that's i want to make it look like proper so i want to bend his arms in more i mean his wrist in more i can't do it though because that joint is really weird it's sideways right now i can actually see it you see it rotating in there it's probably because the hand is so stiff sometimes i can like stick my nail in there and like make the joint stop moving so that i can make the hand move now i think i got it that time yep i got it see there and i'll just pop the hand back on because i wanted like that so i can bend his arms his wrists in his hands in when i hit that charging up pose see what i mean then boom that's one thing i like to do some people make the mistake of leaving his wrist like that when they do the charging pose but bend those wrists in man his hand is popping off really easily now but there oh, okay cool i did it wasn't on there all the way so that's my fault it's actually fine so you can bend them back go like that or ah you know with the screaming face he has one right there okay all right so left and right like this all the way around twisting twisting so that's good that's a you know that's a normal amount of squeak it's not that bad but still some shock oil will be needed for that so the top of his pants are right here and it's kind of like floating there he has a belt right here right there right so let's see okay we got that motion we got that motion as far as his like lower abdomen yeah we got some twist right there too at his hips so sometimes they give you like a leg drop down but that's normally like on fig arts some fig arts have that leg drop down we don't have it here but this is their fight body though so let's check out the splits i want to be careful here man because doing the splits with these guys is always a bit scary you just never know what's going to happen you know so let me see him work those joints um that's about it for the splits not too impressive but it's something you can see the little the inner mechanics right there all that engineering put that right back the way it was that cut is at the top right there and you got that floating little piece right here to do a nice forward motion and <laughs> you gotta look at it <laughs> Oh man, I did not expect this, but it's all because of this engineering right here. You can get this this little donkey looking. This is a weird little weird little donkey kick right there. Excuse me, I'm just having fun. So going forward like that, and then uh, to the side, uh, that's going to be a part of the split. I wonder if I like try to move that little floating this little floating part out of the way if I can get more range sideways. Um, I can't. All right but this this is freaking hilarious what he's like a transformer transform us robots in the skies oh look at this hold on a second hold on a second goku transforms into a into literally he transforms into a literal dragon ball like he's literally a dragon ball like blanca wow remember blanca from street fighter they got the same hair wow goku ball all right i'm getting way off topic as people say, I digress. I'm getting way off topic right here, man. Okay, let's get back on it. Um, Goku, strongest man there is in the Dragon Ball Z world. Here we go, we're back at it again. All right, so we got some nice little detail right here. All that little scalp thing, that battle damage, even his leg, like right where this little, this rip is in his pants, his leg is all jacked up. That's cool, he's gonna need some band-aids and some, uh, some neosporin for all those issues some damage right there knees are nice and pants are ripped open that looks good though like they did a really good job like i can't even lie um you already seen the knee motion we talked about that a lot just now going forward and backward uh look at that some more rips right there fix the camera some more rips right there battle damage even on his boots they did a real good job at painting sometimes these third-party companies get a little bit off with their painting but they did a really good job painting this guy all right so as far as the no there's nothing no movement right here nothing but we're going in out we're going up and down we go down a lot you can see the mechanics inside there see that the little ball joint and we got some toe band 
tippy tippy toes ah man yeah so that's cool that is goku uh as far as his height you know how sh fig arts does it and demonical fit copied he is like the exact same height unfortunately though um since i'm moving and uh, all my fig arts are packed up i can't do a comparison with shf but i will show you mr tony stark here like if you care about your marvel legends not sure why you would pair up your marvel legends with a uh, fig arts but he's shorter actually look at that yeah but it's fig arts though so and of course the hand ninja is on a taller side anyway so of course goku is going to be much shorter than the hand ninja let's fix these feet so we're going to line these feet up because I'll do my videos at an awkward angle. See, he's much shorter, but what do you expect? I'm going to show you guys the accessories now. In the package, knock down my wall. In the package, we got our stop in the name of the law hands. We have our gripping hands, our posing hands. We have our smirk with the Goku face. That face looks good. We have our angry face. Now, is it me or do his teeth look extra yellow in that one? Like in this one right here, his teeth look extra yellow. I don't know what's going on there. And then we have our yelling face, the power up face. This is cool. That's my favorite. This is the face where it's like, I'm going to kick your butt and there's nothing you can do about it. That's the cool, a cool face. Next up, we have a little effect. That's right, folks. Demonical Fit gave us a little effect. So this is his Aurora right here. This is the Super Saiyan Blue Aurora mixed in with the Kaioken on the outside. Some electric, nothing but plastic. You can shine a light behind that and get a nice little effect. And it came with a little stand. Yes, sir. It came with a stand. You can flop this. You can slide that inside of that. Put Goku in front of it and have yourself a good old time. So let's get one last look at Goku, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a sub if you liked it. If it made you laugh, you owe me a sub and share it too. Oh, by the way, um, let me show you guys this real quick. His face plates can be changed like so. You pop that off and he looks like a Robocop. Remember Robocop when his, never mind, you're too young for that. And then you take that one off. See? And you plug that back in. But yeah, remember when Robocop took his helmet off and he looked like this? Murphy? All right. I'm showing you, showing you guys how old I am right now. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. One last look at Goku.